So, hey you guys and welcome back yet again. So, I'm back with another video, another haul. You guys have probably already seen the Nike and the um, Target very, very, very small haul. Um, Cause that was all that I could really just find. Um, so you, you guys already saw that. So now this haul um, is actually going to be a <clears throat> Gap haul. Gap. And rack room shoes. So I never, never, ever, ever. Um, I never shop at rack room shoes really um i always shop at gap from myself and my kids um but for rack room shoes the only reason why i went there because i just don't like their stuff the only reason why i went there is because i wanted to get the boys some crocs so if you guys did not watch the previous video i have a six-year-old and a three-year-old whom i'm just gonna make this haul really really quick um since we've kind of just been quarantined in the house hadn't really been able to go anywhere but like the park go out grab something to eat to go and please excuse the noise if you do hear them and then please excuse the background because my son came here and wasted a bottle of water all of the above okay mom life okay welcome to my world so why do i look black real skin looks dark anyway um staying on task so real quick i went to rack and shoes today um i did practice social distancing i was the only one that went to the store and yeah so that's pretty much it so i got crocs so, and this is for my six-year-old, and these are the Crocs, just blue Crocs, and they are a size um, one, a size one. So, yep, these are the Crocs that I got for him. Um, now, the Crocs that I have for my three-year-old, I'm actually going to have to exchange for a different size because I thought that he would be able to fit these. But they are a little too big, and I don't want them to be too, too roomy. So, same color. These are blue. They're a size 10. But I'm actually going to get um, a size 9 for him. And inside of the box, looks like that. Just to give you guys an idea. Um... So yeah, so that's that from Rack Room Shoes. And both of those pairs of Crocs were $48. Um, so yes. So the next thing is the Gap. And hopefully my camera does not cut off. I hope that it doesn't. And I'm also gonna show you guys the jig bits that I got for the Crocs. Um, I actually know someone who sells them cheaper, but I did go ahead and get them. They are really expensive for these little things. They're actually $3.99 each. So I spent like $40 on jig bits. So I got a G for my son, Grayson. I got a little, the earth with the heart. I got two of the same kind. So dinosaur and then another earth. So it's two earths. And then H for their last name, the initial of their last name. And then I got the, like the spaceship or whatever. Didn't really like that rainbow at the bottom, but it's a spaceship. So it's cool. Um, yeah, so that's to go on top of their crops. Um, and that was almost $40. That was almost $40, really. So, okay. So, first things first, I'm going to start with Austin, which is my six year old. I got him this gap shirt, and this is in a size eight. Just basic gap shirt. Got him some khaki shorts, which he has several pairs of khaki cargo shorts, which you can never have enough. And the thing I like about Gap clothes, why I buy them for my kids, I don't care if it's in style or whatever people may say, I buy what I like and that's the bottom line. So the adjustable waist. And again, like I said in the last video, I have boys, so they're very rough and hard on their clothes. And it is just so hard to like keep them from looking dingy, <laughs> for real. Um, he has a black pair of these and a red pair. So I just got him these size eight and it has a gap symbol there. Um, got him this pair, same style, just a different color. And then it has the gap in the gray. Um, hoo, hoo, hoo. I got him in a hat 
um they have not been to the barbershop in a while so this hat is going to come in handy until they get to the barbershop just for pandemic reasons they haven't been to the barbershop um also let's see what else did i get oh also got him and please excuse the noise i told y'all my kids in there um got him these picnic type print that's what i call them picnic type print shorts i love this blue print and i love the color blue like I know it's cliche for a boy because blue is just that go-to color, but I just love that type of blue. And then I got this shirt. I'm a graphic tee type person, so I would actually pair this, <laughs> pair this with this and make him wear like that. Like, I don't dress them real preppy or anything like that. I love graphic tees myself, so I dress them how I dress. And I'm a very basic dresser. I'm not a fashionista. I'm on the tomboy side of things, so yeah. So that's actually all that I got for Austin. So just this little pile of stuff right here, all I got. Um, they didn't really have a huge, huge selection. A lot of the stores, like I said, is wiped out and what they didn't have, he already has at home because I'm always shopping. So anyway, this is for my three-year-old and I just got him a Dinosaur Gap shirt, this is size four, um, just a solid white. Oh, this is not solid white. This is the Gap shirt. Um, got him this style gap shirt, just a basic shirt, army fatigue type look. Got these shorts, all of this is size four. Um, got just a solid white tee. Here's the white tee, size four. Can never go wrong with a white tee, ever, ever, ever. Got this shirt. I was a little iffy on this shirt because it was kind of giving me rainbow vibes. But because it's missing some colors of the rainbow and it's not like a bold rainbow color, I'm like, we can kind of get through this. Um, but now I'm just real iffy about what I buy when it comes to that. And these are the shorts that kind of accent this shirt. But um, it's just something to throw on. This is, I don't know if this is like supposed to be like a pride collection. I hope not because it's missing some colors. So I think it's just, you know, like fun summer colors. That's what I'm thinking. I hope because I'm going to get down like that around here as far as like with me dressing my kids with the pride. Now, if it's different, you know, for me because I'm an adult, but my children, no. But that's a whole nother top for a whole nother day. Anyway, but y'all know where I stand with it. I just said it. So this is just a tank, a regular gap tank, size four. And here is another in just the green and blue. And then I got him a hat as well, a gap hat in yellow. So his hat, Austin's hat is blue and Grayson's hat is yellow. They may be able to wear each other hats. I don't know. They have big heads, but yeah. And so that is all that I have. So this was Grayson's stuff and this was Austin's stuff in addition to both of their hats. And that is it. That is absolutely it. Um, that was really quick. Like I said, it's, they either already have all the stuff or they were out of stock on just a lot of stuff. So I got what I could. We're not going to be going anywhere, but I just wanted to have them some stuff on standby. Um, before we start really getting back out again, summer will be over. And then I'll be stocking on winter stuff and coats and jackets and stuff like that. So I do want to thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this quarantine haul. Um, Gap Factory Outlet is where I went. And I also went to Rack Room Shoes. Um, at Gap Factory Outlet, I think I spent $145. And then that included me getting like three or four shirts. So that was pretty good. Just t-shirts to throw on because again, like I said, I'm just like a t-shirt type of person. And then the Crocs for both of the kids were like 40 something. Um, and then the gigabits were almost 40, so kind of pricey as far as the gigabits, but that's it, you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share this video, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm not a YouTube professional yet, um, so I'm just learning like the whole editing and all stuff like this. So, a lot of my videos will not be edited, and then some will be slightly edited. Um, I have still been learning Final Cut Pro, and it's just really, really fancy for me. But when I get my camera, um, then I'll just kind of 
and maybe get more into the Final Cut Pro. But for right now, I use iMovie if needed. And then, or I just don't edit my videos at all because no accidents. Okay. So that's it. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.